today. So on behalf of the greatest team in the world, uh, good luck to you and your crew on the final flight and crew in So I was in space three times. My first time was, I think, 11 days. My second time was four and a half months. And then my third time was 12 days. I think ideally, if I could design my life the way I wanted to, I would live on Earth for six months of the year, and I would live in space for six months of the year. I was a, the robot arm operator for the space station. And so a lot of my missions, I was either moving very large objects around on the robot arm, or I was moving people around on the robot arm. And I think as we go into space, the, the things that we're doing in space are going to help us live better lives here on the ground. No matter what job that you have, people are going to value you because you're hardworking, because you're a good team member, because people can count on you to do your job. And if you're that person, it doesn't matter whether you're a boy or a girl or what country you're from or how you were raised or who your parents were or what language you speak or anything like that. A lot of the things that we're doing right now in space are benefiting uh, how we're monitoring the Earth and taking care of the Earth. We are naturally curious as human beings. We have this need inside of us to learn and to grow and to become better. It was really fun to have an astronaut come to our school. She was super interesting. She came in, she answered like every question. I thought that her experience was very inspiring. She did three uh, missions in space. It was cool to see how zero gravity worked. Uh, I think this was an awesome experience. It was cool seeing all the pictures and the videos she shared with us. I've never seen an astronaut in my life before I came to this school. We were very lucky to have the experience. She really taught us that we can do anything. 